Well, let's see if this is going to work out for us this morning. Good morning. You know, things are different when you're on the road, on vacation. Drinking water. And uh, coffee didn't get made this morning. Hang on there a second. Hey, so this is 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigby, your host. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you guys can hear me okay. Hey, there's Joe. I assume... Joe will let me know if he can't hear you. Do what Joe did. If you are here, whether you're watching live while I'm doing it right now, right this second, or it's months and months from now when you watch, drop me a comment in there, say hi, let me know, <coughs> let me know, rather, that you are here. So, uh, yeah, good morning, Keith. Keith. Keith tells me that the sound is okay, so we're going to run with that. We are on the road this week, visiting with the grandchildren and the children. And um, at any rate, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm outside of my normal confines and outside of my normal schedule, which counts for the water. So <coughs> this morning, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about your investment portfolio, not your retirement account or not your, you know, your regular investment portfolio but your relationship investments. So we spend a tremendous amount of time pouring over stocks and bonds and mutual funds and all kinds of investment vehicles and just trying to figure out what's going on. Even if we don't know about any of that stuff, we'll still spend a lot of time trying to educate ourselves. So my question for you today is, do you spend as much time investing in your relationships as you spend investing your money? I would submit to you that your relationship investments are way more valuable in the long run, way more valuable than those monetary investments. In fact, as I was thinking about this yesterday, this was going to be my topic yesterday, and Technical difficulties prevailed yesterday. But um, as I was thinking about this to kind of develop this idea, there's, there's really, uh, there's more than just relationships. All seven of the key areas in our life um, are really forward-looking investments, right? So the things that are going to matter, the things that are going to have an impact, the things that are going to give us the best opportunity for that happy, healthy, balanced life, that life that we crave, are future investments. So think about it this way. I'm going to draw, kind of try and draw this analogy with money. If you have a job and you're living paycheck to paycheck and, you know, you need a new set of tires on the car, well, that's something that happened to you. And... Uh, you go to the dentist and you need a filling. That's something that happens to you. All these things begin to happen to you because you're living for the moment. You're spending, you're living paycheck to paycheck, living for the moment. You're not making investments for the future. But if you make investments, if you make investments for the future, right, like investing in relationships, or in your money, saving a little bit of money so when you need tires, you have tires, you can buy tires for the car. When you make those future investments, then you begin to have more control. Right? You, you don't, things are not happening to you. You're creating the life that you crave. Right? So I would just, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to encourage you in that way this morning. I'm stilted here because there's no coffee yet. I want to encourage you this way this morning. Think about the things that you're investing. If you looked at the way you spend your time, right, during, during a week, and you said, okay, the things that are most important to you are the things that you spend the most time on. What are the things that are most important to you? If you use that as the, as the yardstick, right, and you said, okay, I spend this much time doing this and this much time doing this. And then you sorted them by the ones you spend the most time doing. Are those reflective of the way that you value those 
things, those people, those activities. I don't know. That's something to uh, something to ponder. I'm I'm keeping notes this week. Actually, this week I I did think about this as I started doing this in my journal. It's right there on the desk today. Um, this week's going to be lopsided because we're here. But keep notes for a, little, for a few days if you want. Just keep notes. Figure out where you're spending that time. Where are you making that investment? Right. And as we talk about investing in relationships, uh, I was checking the comments. And as we were thinking about investing in relationships, who have you not talked to recently? That mm. if they called you, you would think, man, I should have been calling them. Or even worse, maybe a little more morbidly, if you heard that they had passed away, you're like, oh man, right? Who have you not talked to? Pick up the phone and call them today. It's your second challenge for the day. It's a two for I skipped yesterday, so you get two today. Figure out where you're spending your time. Is that reflective of what's really important to you? And number two, who have you not talked to? At least one person. There's, there's one person in everybody's life. I wish they'd, they'd talk to more. Pay up the phone and call them today. All right, uh, Eric, if you're still there, coffee shop show is on for today, I presume, although I will not be there. But uh, we'll be watching that. That comes up at 9 o'clock, so that's uh, about an hour and 45 minutes away. So be sure and tune in for that. Uh, it'll still show up on my channel. You can... Check it out there. TheCoffeeShopShow.com should get you the right place too, I think. I'll have to check that. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm telling you, this lack of coffee thing, that's not a good plan. You guys have a fantastic Wednesday morning. I do plan on being here again tomorrow. That's the plan anyway. Friday we might be on the road. So I might come to you live from the road. <laughs> anyway. You guys have a fantastic Wednesday. I'll talk to you tomorrow.